Hey loves and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kelechi Imbamana and in this video I'm going to be unboxing as well as reviewing the Day TV mic. This is the D4 dual microphone. So I'm going to be unboxing this, reviewing this, testing out the features, trying to figure out if this is the best beginner all-round microphone for creating YouTube content. So if you are interested definitely keep on watching. <music> Okay, so I definitely love unboxing videos because I feel like there's just something new to discover and new to try out and new to share at the same time. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be unboxing this microphone right here. Um, this microphone made a lot of buzz when it first came out and I, I, I like to think that this is what I like to say everything you need to create content as a vlogger a YouTuber, someone who stays in a studio, you want to create interview videos. I mean, the reviews I've watched about this microphone is just simply amazing, but I'm going to like zone out of that and kind of try as much as possible to go in depth with this review as well as provide you guys with like my honest opinions. A funny thing is this year I said I was going to try as much as possible to upgrade my microphone and like the universe just hears me because Dati was kind enough to send me this microphone and I'm so eager to try this out. I want to try this out in like a vlogging scenario, a studio scenario, really try as much as possible to optimize the functionalities of this. So before I start talking too much and start rambling i'm just going to go ahead to unbox this open this up share with you guys what is in here as well as try it out obviously that's why you're here so i'm just going to open this up again it comes with it sealed now this microphone claims to be easy to use it doesn't require any battery it is easy to switch between the mono and stereo function. You can actually use a lavalier microphone with this, which is, I think it's crazy because it's like all in one basically. It comes with a windscreen. This is that furry windscreen that is perfect for outdoor vlogging. So that way it kind of reduces noise from the wind. So yeah, this is what we get in the box. In here, we have the microphone itself and they went ahead to install the two wind screens. That's one here. You can also call this a dead cat. This right here and another one here. This right here is a shock support. Basically, it's supposed to help um, preventing shock so that way it doesn't make a lot of noise. But yeah, this is what we have here. Now, always remove this. You can go ahead to remove this. So you can take this out if you don't want to. So inside the box, we also have the wire. This is the wire that connects your microphone to your camera or whatever recording device you're using. Again, this is not a wireless microphone. And again, this microphone doesn't require batteries. So I'm gonna go ahead to just plug this on my camera and use this as my main microphone. So we can see an input and output. With this, you can connect the output to your camera and the input, you can connect your lavalier microphone if you have. Now, this is a dual microphone, meaning that it has a microphone at the front as well as at the back. So this is perfect if you are doing like an interview vlog type of content or you're vlogging and you want to get the or do you want to get amazing audio from the background or whatsoever? I mean, the functions here are amazing. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect this to my DSLR camera to kind of see how well this performs. So I know that I'm going to struggle in terms of when it comes to audio just because of the distance between where I'm sitting down and where my camera is it is quite a distance but we're going to kind of play around with it try different setups and maybe even bring it closer to me to see how well it works and performs at the same time right, so i went ahead to just connect the d4 dual microphone to my recording device that's my camera and this is the audio you guys are getting this is what it sounds like um definitely i know that this stuff is the best quality just because of my distance i'm far away from my camera so i'm not going to be getting receiving the best in terms of audio quality so i'm going to definitely move around and just maybe move closer to where i am so that way you guys can see the difference as well as test this out and kind of see how this functions in different space different <sighs> 
okay guys um i know this looks weird but let me just adjust this a little bit so now i think i have set up my microphone it's so close to me now i just need to maybe push it down adjust it to the level of you know where i'm comfortable with again i don't want this to show so yeah this is a distance between myself and the microphone and this is exactly what it sounds like again i'm using the mono function which means that i'm only using the front side of the microphone i'm, I'm gonna play around with the back side but i would probably need someone to be behind the camera and talking so that way you can see if it picks up the two audios but you know what i'm going to improvise do a recording on my mobile phone and then see how it works maybe put it behind my camera and interact with it if that makes sense this is what a typical um pro setup would look like maybe this going on but you guys know that i love a lavalier which is what i'm going to be trying out next it's what it sounds like now that i have it really close to me if i decide to pull it down this is what we sound like it is pretty close to me and if i want to move this i can adjust this i can also have it you know hanging or dropping but again because of the kind of content i'm creating if you're creating like a sit down talk this definitely would work because you don't have to like trans <laughs> trans big above um, your head you can have it this way maybe hide it a little bit or if you're doing a podcast this can also work for you to be honest with you but i don't know what this sounds like i honestly don't know what this is the first time i'm trying this out but i'm hoping this sounds amazing again i use an extension cord right here an extension wire just to connect just so i can be able to connect my camera to this so that way um i have a distance when i had to connect my lavalier to the microphone as you guys have seen all right i'm going to be switching the microphone to the stereo mode so that way the microphone can pick up audio from both the front and the back now what i'm going to be doing now is just place my phone directly underneath the microphone and i'm going to be playing an audio recording to test out the stereo feature so the stereo feature is on and it should be more audible from the Hi, audio good morning how are you hi good morning i'm fine thank you i hope you're having an amazing day recording and trying out the Dayti d4 duo microphone absolutely yes i am yeah. that is it that's me trying out the new feature what i want to do right now is to actually play around with this i want to see how well this works with my vlogging camera how well this works with my mobile phone because i know that a lot of us are filming and are starting off with recording um youtube content using a mobile phone or using a compact vlogging camera i'm gonna try this out okay so now i want to test out this microphone with my mobile phone to see if this works together and if it does i want to see and i still want to hear what this sounds like to know if it's good enough for a pro mobile setup okay i'm gonna turn off the stereo because it was previously on adapter this is like a type c to a 3.5 mm jack what i'm going to be using are trrs cords and then i want to start recording and just you know turn this around it is recording using my microphone i'm just going to move closer hi guys does that sound any better but yeah this is what it sounds like using the dt d4 microphone um and yeah this is what i'm getting this is the audio that i'm getting i'm going to move around just a little bit take it a bit further bring it closer to me play around with the distance location maybe take this out i'm going to take this out in a bit but yeah i just want you guys to see and most importantly hear what this sounds like so yeah let me know in the comment section if you like what the audio <laughs> sounds like okay so while playing back the video that i recorded on my mobile phone using the microphone i realized that um there's like a heating background sound and i definitely that would be as a result of the um cables that i used okay so this is going to be a lot i'm just going to quickly connect my lava layer to this i'm going to switch over to this and then do like a 10 second recording um scenario to see if this actually works and if it's better in terms of the quality compared to just using it like this obviously i wouldn't vlog with the lavalier microphone however if you are trying to create like a sit down content then this might actually work so let me just try that out to see if there's any difference hey loves this is me 
testing out the D4 Duo microphone again. But however, I'm using an external lavalier so that way I can see if this actually works. If this works, it might be a game changer for someone who is a mobile content creator and wants to create sit down content in their studio, outdoor at the same time and get the most out of the D4 Duo uh, microphone. So yeah, this is what it sounds like. Again, the microphone is here. So now I can put my phone in a distance. Let me even put that in a distance. Okay, so I'm gonna move back a little bit so that you guys can see that I'm actually using a lavalier microphone. So that way I know that even if I move back, the audio doesn't change in terms of the quality. But yeah, um, I don't know if it's actually working, but if it is, let me know and I'm gonna play back and figure it out. Let me know which sound you guys prefer. And that is it. Let me end this. Okay, good news, it did work. However, bad news, um, I'm still getting that hissing sound. And to be honest with you, I think it is as a result of this cable that I'm using. So what I'm going to do is maybe buy a couple more cables, specifically for microphones, just to see if it is any better. Amazing. So again, I love how portable and compact this is. It looks even smaller when you take off the dead cat out of it. So that way it's more direct. However, if you are in a windy, noisy area, um, you definitely want to have this on to kind of um, help prevent noise. All right, so hey love. So I currently have the dating mic on my vlogging camera just so you guys can hear what this sounds like when you are vlogging with it. Again, the proximity is pretty close. This is um, like, I can literally touch the microphone so you know that I am like, I'm basically arm's length away from the microphone. Now this is the kind of audio you will get if you are using this for a typical vlog, in a typical vlogging scenario, this is how we sound and this is how good it works. And the amazing thing is if I want to flip my camera, I just need to turn this to the stereo mode so that way it, it picks up the audio from the back as well as from the front at the same time so this is a great 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 microphone to vlog with i think and i believe that it was intended for people that are vlogging so yeah definitely try this out if you feel like this is too much there's too much going on you can definitely take out the puffs okay so now i have the puffs out and now it looks a little bit more discreet and kind of easier to vlog with because it's not like in your face but yeah i just wanted you guys to kind of hear what this sounds like um let me know down in the comment section what you guys think and yeah let's get right into um, so yeah i love that it is compact it is portable it is still pro you have multiple diverse functions i mean i could still definitely play around with this with a couple of other equipment and gimbals and see how we can incorporate this into our day-to-day -day, um vlogging lifestyle but yeah i definitely love this more so the fact that it is actually small but yeah that's just my opinion i want you guys to let me know what you guys think and feel about this microphone in this video what's the quality like again I am filming and recording using my lavalier microphone that I always use so the quality might be different but I want you guys to let me, let me know which one you prefer. I have a couple other microphones that I want to kind of review and share with you guys and then maybe I'll do like a, a what's it called? A microphone comparison video to figure out which one is truly the best and the most budget and beginner friendly at the same time and also let me know what your thoughts are your honest thoughts are and i'll definitely catch you guys in my next or previous video in case you are not new here in case you are new here then you definitely want to like subscribe and if you're someone who is getting started here on youtube i have a lot of content relating to setting up your background creating your studio equipment reviews you know production lighting all of that you can check out this playlist right here to get you started and subscribe again it is free again thanks for watching and have an amazing day